2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Great to have you with us. Game four of round one in the West. We're happy to bring it to you live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter is Ali LaForce. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's McDaniels in at the three, the small forward. And for Phoenix, all the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal the backcourt. And KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. Taking a look at Phoenix. What a great chance here for them to bring the series even at home. A great chance indeed. This team is very much alive and they know it. The win here makes it a best of three series. Tip off goes to Minnesota. Peel against Edwards. High arcing shot. The shot that time not on target. Peel with some nice D. Here's Durant. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. You know, the defense is all over Durant inside, but, you know, his length and agility and high release point allow him to still make it happen. Towns gets the bucket. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Durant. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Oh, what a nice ball fake there. Hard not to bite on that one. I mean, you have to be aggressive if you want to challenge KD's shot. And then he's got you right where he wants you. Shooting two. Free throw is good from Durant. I don't think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep. The touch at the rim. Excellent handles, seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Here's Conley from eight feet away. Mike drops Conley. it in. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Conley against Booker. Here's Allen. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Conley passes to Gobert. Stolen by Booker. And now the Suns fast break. That's good from Durant on the assist from Booker. Durant's got his second bucket of the night. Defender all over Durant, and he still gets it to go. Well done. And Edwards slams it in. Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. Strong interior move. Aggressive, assertive, and effective. Now here's Edwards. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Edwards does not back down. Even if it means taking physically hard contact, he's fearless. Anthony Edwards taking two shots. First one falls for him. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great. And both free throws good for Edwards. The Suns have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Pass to Allen. From the top of the key, the rebound by the Timberwolves. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Conley. And the layup is good off the glass. Boy, they're on fire right now. Cooking with gas, starting this one out. Four or five. Beal against Edwards. Pass to Nurkic. Phoenix no good that time either. 
And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. It's a three-point game. Flashing three pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good time defense, time better time offense out. moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. Phoenix calls timeout. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. to Booker to halt the run and the layup is up and in. Not easy to hold Booker back. He commits to his selections 100%. Now here's Towns guarded by Duran. Towns passes to McDaniels. Booker against Conley. That one goes in. Conley's got six. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Booker for three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. And this is big for Booker's confidence. With this three-point ball falling, he's so tough to stop. He shoots. And the basket by Towns. Five points in the game. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Beal, the shot won't fall. Oh, good D by Edwards. Minnesota has gone two of two at the perimeter. That's good from Towns on the assist by Edwards. The assist? <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. To the inside, Nurkic. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Hey, it's all about W's for Durant. I mean, he understands that feeding open teammates is how you make that happen. Back to Conley. And he's going for the lob. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Mike Great lob and an even better finish by Gobert. Booker with it. He's got five. Good work there as it goes. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Now here's Conley. He has six. Lays it up and banks it in. Conley's got eight. Ooh, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. It's Booker on the wing. Up and over Conley. Booker's shot is good. Nine points in the game. A silky mid-range jumper by Booker. Attacking without any hesitation. Reed for three. Kept alive by Minnesota. Yep, count it. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Beal against Edwards. Minnesota. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Got to be cautious guarding Beal because he's skilled at drawing contact while shooting. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, I've liked their Take assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor.
O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. And Beal drops them both. What I admire about Beal is his work ethic. His desire to keep improving year after year. Timeout time time called the Timberwolves. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Change here. Gordon's checked in. Eric Gordon. On defense, the Suns. Trailing by five. Outside, Anderson. Rejected by Bull. You've got to be aware of Bull Bull. He's got a seven, eight wingspan. If you are anywhere near him, back up even more to make sure you can get that shot off. Phoenix has possession. Booker against Conley. Six to shoot. The three, Durant. And the three-pointer goes. Durant's got nine points. So far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunity. Conley against Booker. Pass to Alexander Walker. Up and over Gordon. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. We've got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. It's just so hard to check. He can turn you one way, then use the spin move to make you look sad. Durant against Anderson. For three, Conley. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Here's Booker. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. 11 points in the game. That makes him five for five so far. Could be a big night in store. Uh, I think they've got to consider throwing a few different looks his way early on, especially if he keeps shooting like this. And Phoenix has possession. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. Outside Bull. On the wing, Durant. Pass to Gordon. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. With a cool attitude under pressure. I mean, Gordon is great at shooting in tough spots. Here's Reed. Fires from deep. And another three from Minnesota. Can't give those openings defensively. Phoenix. He'll just keep exploiting them. Phoenix calls timeout. Fans, please give a big round of applause for your son, you hit team.
in for the Suns. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Morris has checked in. And here's Booker. 11 points in the game. Here's Eubanks. Oh, and Reed with a block. And they're able to recover. Goes back up. Anderson with it. Now guarded by Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's a six-point Timberwolves lead. And you know he's finishing when he gets that close. Count it. Outside bowl. Pass to O'Neal. Outside the arc. Knocks down the triple. A growing part of Bowles' game. Good to see him connect from the corner. Now Reed takes the three. Bowles grabs the board. And here's Booker. Gordon outside. Back to Booker. Steps back and shoots. Again, the Suns good for two. Can you believe him so far? Six for six. Boy, giving him a huge lift offensively. He's poised for a big game here. Here's Alexander Walker. Yet to see a basket. Back to Edwards. Anderson against Bowles. Oh, it's blocked by Bowles. And they recover it. Shot is good by Edwards. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. It's a three-point game. Oh, deflected. Oh, Morris with a steal. And he goes in for the dunk. Show us what you got, young fella. Anthony Edwards. Love to see you operate like that. Outside bowl. 27 seconds left in the first. Pulls it. O'Neal misses. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Almost converts despite the contact. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. So it would have been nice to get an and one there. Two shots. Good, Edwards. And both free throws good for Edwards. There's 10 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Gordon. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Gordon's got a second bucket on the night. Inside, Gordon stays loose and free, ready to make his moves around the defense there. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And we welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves? It was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. Phoenix has gone 3 of 5 from the perimeter in this game. They've got Yusuf Nurkic. Grayson Allen is out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Bull Bull. And it's O'Neal in at the 3 slot. That's the Suns 5 as we get into the second quarter. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Morris with it. Nurkic picks him up. And there's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First free throw is good. Durant, he's checked in for bowl. No. 
No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Suns trailing. Take it away! Pass to Alexander Walker. Shot clock at six. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to O'Neal. Nurkic with the ball. Defended by Gobert. Nurkic shot is good. Oh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. Now here's Morris. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Timberwolves lead by eight. Ran inside, covered by Towns. Using his size to full advantage, he beats everyone to the ball. Here's McDaniels, soft touch Jayden off the glass. McDaniels. Strong work inside by the six foot nine, Jaden McDaniels, showing how effective he can be down there. Pass to O'Neal. On the wing, Durant. Over Towns, and another basket for Phoenix. That jump was so effortless coming out of Durant's hands. I mean, it's cash money more times than not. Morris finds McDaniels. Got it. McDaniels got his second bucket of the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't have. That shot is good by O'Neal. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Pass to Towns. Morris on the wing. Shoots over Beal. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Up the floor. A pull up jumper. McDaniels, that's good. McDaniels got six points in the quarter. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Allen, the pass to Beal. On the wing, Durant. It's Beal on the wing. Over Morris. And it's Phoenix with another. Yeah, solid veteran move. Beal's aware of the shot clock and doesn't let the possession get away from them. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. checked in the Timberwolves have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second on the wing Alexander Walker Allen defending right side McDaniels he buries it from three McDaniels got nine points in the quarter impeccable mechanics this quarter he's been perfect from the field pass to Beal Sends it right off the glass. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. O'Neal on the wing. This is what Gobert is known for. 
His ability to swat shots away with ease. McDaniels. Yes. He didn't Great him. play by Connolly to he set assists. it up. Mike Connolly's Conley. got four assists in the game. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Mike Conley. First personal foul. First team foul. And the Suns making a change here. Gordon's checked in. Yusef Nurkic. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. Outside Conley. Over Beal. Again, the Timberwolves score. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Beal, the pass to Gordon. Clock at six. Fires from 14. Nice shot by Durant. Durant's got 13. What doesn't Kevin Durant do? He's showing us everything here. Here's Alexander Walker. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Gordon finds Allen. Gobert against Nurkic. Gordon outside. Fires from the line. He got a piece of it. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. Here's Conley. Pass to Alexander Walker. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Alexander Walker's got his third basket on the night right there. Here's Beal. Again, the side's good for two. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. Who's ready for t-shirt time? Get on your feet and get loud, fans. in for Phoenix. Booker comes in for Bradley Beal. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Here's Conley. Can't cash it in from close range. The Suns have gotten 7 of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Booker against Conley. And here's Gordon from the arc. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Gordon's got 7 points. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the tackle. Anderson, Anderson gets the bucket. When he gets that close to the rim, it takes great D to stop him. Now here's Booker. He's got 13. Pass to Eubanks. Now Allen. McDaniels covering. Six on the shot clock. Unloads. Another one falls for Phoenix. When he decides he wants to take it to the bucket, it's really hard for anyone to slow him down. Here's Conley, and the shot's good. He's got 17. Yeah, there are nights where Conley has to do it himself, and that's the sign of a veteran point guard, knowing when you have to take over. Now here's Booker. Pass to Eubanks. Got a piece of it. 
after missing his first attempt. Now one for two. Minnesota in the lead. Anderson passes to Reed. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Allen. The three. And the Suns get another three. And this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Showing off those instincts that make Conley such an offensive threat. Makes a good call and opts for the floater. Pass to Eubanks. Allen with it. The Suns need to get off a shot for three. Gordon, and he gets it to go. Four for six so far. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Reed. And here's Anderson, defended by Nurkic. 13 feet out, tips it, it's good on the putback. Reed's got 10. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say time that out, with out. enough time emphasis. Out. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. And the Suns call time here. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Morris, he's checked in for Conley. Off the inbound. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. A minute 31 left in the first half of basketball. Booker for three. Oh, Booker with the triple. If there's anything Booker can't do on a basketball court, I want to know all about it because tonight he's doing it all. Anderson, and that's out of bounds. Last touch by Bull. Shot from the inbound. Yes, on the jumper. Morris has got five points now this quarter. And Booker has got the ball here for the Suns. They trail by nine over Morris. Again, the Suns good for two. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. You know, he started the game knocking down shots, guys. And now in the second quarter, he's taking it to another level. Eubanks, the pass to bowl. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. What a move by Bowl, taking the foul but staying focused to finish the play. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. At the line for one, Bowl. One shot. When you've got an imposing force like Bobo. You expect to see him at the line a lot. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Reed passes to Morris. That one falls. 
Morris has got seven points. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Outside goal. Back to Booker. Over Morris. In deep. Booker gets it to go. The easy money there for Booker. You can't let him get this close to the ball. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And they push the tempo in this one, getting out in transition and making the defense pay. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're I sitting there. only three of us. Went, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Looking at Minnesota, they put in a great performance so far in game four. The importance of this game and their effort have been very apparent. And if they're able to put another good half of basketball in and take a three games to one lead tonight, they'd be in a nearly unstoppable position to take the series. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position count. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they could do that, this game's still within it. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. And it's Morris in at the small forward position. Five on the clock. Here's Allen. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. Allen's got nine. Picture perfect with the turnaround. There's no stopping that shot. Conley with the ball. Oh, Rudy! Yeah, we've seen Conley do this forever. Running the point with precision. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. Over Morris. The rebound by the Timberwolves. They've led by as many as 14. And that was good. And now it's a nine-point Minnesota lead. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Booker. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Booker's got 22. Awfully tough play to defend. When you honor the roller, Booker just takes advantage. Gobert inside. Nurkic is there. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Nurkic. Here's Durant. A strong finish from KD inside. They found a nice move in this half, starting out three for four. Pass to Towns, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Kevin Durant. Boy, how do you stop Cat, Carl Anthony Towns, and the elite scoring talent with incredible size? And he makes a first. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so Towns nails them both. 
Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. A soft touch on full display. Back to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just the ball. Outside Edwards. Gets the three to fall. Edwards got 16 points now. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Pass to Allen. From downtown. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got five assists tonight. And this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three-point line, so the mid-range is usually available. Nurkic passes to Durant. Here's Booker. He's guarded by Conley. Booker, good. You see the level of confidence Booker possesses. Outstanding off the catch. Pass to Alexander Walker. It's Edwards on the wing, pounded by Beal. A little mid-range shot is up. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Nice jumper there from Towns. Boy, he's got a beautiful stroke. Booker finds Allen. Now here's Nurkic. Now here's Beal, guarded by Edwards. It's blocked by Gobert. Good on the shot. Beal's got four points this quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern in here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Towns the three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Conley against Booker. It's Beal on the wing. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Beal's got 12. And even when you stay connected to Beal, he finds a way to beat you. Minnesota calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. making a switch here. Bowles checked in. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. Right side Conley. Towns passes to Conley. And the bucket is good. Conley's got 21. Nice vision that time from Towns. And you know, he's got that skill set. Booker drawing the double. The three, Durant. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got five assists in the game. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Pretty a big two now. Now here's Gobert. Pass to McDaniels. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. You're not going to get every shot off clean. McDaniels recognizes that and made the adjustment accordingly. Durant finds full. And here's Allen. It's blocked by Gobert. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And the call is going to be yes on a legal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Conley passes to Reed. 
drills it from deep. Reed's got 16 points now. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And they'll keep possession. Just five to shoot. Here's Beal from out on the wing. He knocks it down. Beal's got eight points in the quarter. Outside Edwards. Here's Conley. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. What's up? The wily veteran drawing contact from the defender. Hard to outsmart Mr. Conley. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. I love the way they're finishing, penetrating, getting downhill, taking the game to their Find opponents. The They've Find been the, the aggressors, and Good that's shot. been impressive. And also, attacking and transition has been working for them. I mean, we credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. Free throw drops for Conley. Yeah, one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Pass to O'Neal. Shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Kyle Anderson. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your sons, Royce O'Neal. One shot. And that one misses. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Here's Gobert. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Minnesota. Rudy Gobert. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That one falls for Gobert. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. Now here's Beal. He's got 14. Count that one. Beal's got 16 points. Boy, it plays with such an edge. His style is tenacious. Pass to Gobert. Gobert finishes strong inside. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Gordon, the pass to Beal. Down low. Oh, and Reed with a block. And the whistle blew, so that'll be a shooting foul. Hey, great defensive effort there with the block shot, but he got more than just the ball that time. Free throws coming up. down the first one. Morris, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Pass to Reed. Here's McDaniels. Puts up the eight-footer. Again, the Timberwolves score. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Phoenix calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint.
Minnesota on D. They lead by 11. Neal surveying the D. Oh, and Reed with a block. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Rejected by Bull. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker. Outside Conley. Back to Reed. Fires for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Now here's Booker. He's got 24. Pulls up at the elbow. And he makes it. Booker's got 26. He's doing everything he can for his team. Perfect shooting so far. His teammates now need to step up. Morris passes to Reed. It's McDaniels on the wing. Pass to Reed. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's O'Neal. Two minutes from Give him eight. eight. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And Phoenix has possession. It's a 14-point game. Knocks down the long J. Bowles got eight. For somebody like Bowl to easily knock down threes, that's like having a cheat code. Reed for three. And another three for Minnesota. He made three triples in the first half, three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. Pass to Booker. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Edwards is checked in. A guy who wants to make a big impact. McDaniels is just going off. Here's Beal. Oh, and Reed with a block. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. One oh seven left in the third. Clock at six. Three pointer O'Neal. Excellent defense from McDaniel. Jaden's length and activity really a problem for shooters. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And here's Edwards outside. Bowl grabs the board. Bowles got four rebounds now. Pass to Booker. Back to Bull. Here's O'Neal. It's Beal on the wing. He's got 16. And that one's good. Bull. And their outside game is simply evaporated here in the second half. Not a lot of great looks from deep. Edwards. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Well, that's an extremely hard shot to defend if Edwards can master the pull-up. Watch out now. It would be a real weapon for him. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. And it's their three-point accuracy that has helped them build such a healthy lead. We'll be right back with you shortly. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Straight to the floor. When you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster. 
okay? Take away their airspace. And that's the catch-22, right? Frank Vogel wanting better perimeter defense, but he's also wanting to limit free runs to the rim. And B.A., it takes tremendous discipline to do it. Don't leave your feet. Don't reach. Everyone help each other out. First team foul. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. They've got Royce O'Neal. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's Grayson Allen, and it's Booker in at the point. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And he drops the first. Both free throws good from Morris. Here's Booker. Pass to O'Neal. And he comes up with a bucket. And here's Morris. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Towns. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. I tell you, I mean, the confidence of Towns when he's facing up, really relaxed and comfortable to let it go without hesitation. O'Neal on the wing. McDaniels covering. Shot clock at five. Oh, it's stolen. outstanding he hits again and he's still a perfect nine for nine it's always fun when you can get ahead of the play like McDaniels did there to finish off the break Ooh, nice fadeaway to get it over the top Booker's got nine points now in the second half this is someone that can really hurt you from long range he did that to a degree in the first half and he's doing it now Gobert passes to Morris four on the clock Shoots from 12, and there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Morris against Booker. Pass to Nurkic. Allen outside, six to shoot. Here's Durant. Oh, Durant knows how to fight through contact. This is where KD dips into his bag and comes out smelling good. Three, three, three. Morris against Booker. Pass to Towns. To the left wing. Puts up a deep three. Morris can't hit. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, I, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. What a finish. You love to see that kind of explosiveness from Booker. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got six rebounds now in the game. Allen on the wing. McDaniels covering. Here's Nurkic. Over Edwards. Another one falls for Phoenix. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Pass to Towns. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Conley's checked in. At the line for one. One of the things I love about Towns is how versatile he is. He's a big guy who continues to be a matchup nightmare for defenses. Here's Durant. Durant owning the inside. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Here's Conley. And Booker pulls it down. The Suns have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Steps back and fires. That one goes. Count it. 
Booker's got 13 in the second half. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes some change playing. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Booker, the pass to O'Neal. Now here's Durant. Over Towns, and it's Phoenix with another. Boy, that mid-range J from KD can put people to sleep, boy. Tough to guard him at all three levels. Yes, it's good. Conley's got 28 points for the game. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Pass to Allen. There's the triple. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on Grayson Allen. Anthony Edwards has a great body and knows how to control it. Showing you right there by taking advantage to draw the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for O'Neal. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Beal who brings up the ball for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by 11. Takes a 13-footer. And Conley grabs the miss. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. In. As a result, they've got a big lead. No coverage that time. Beal's got 21 points in the game. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And, of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. Towns passes to Conley. Kicks it out, Towns. Shot clock at six. From 12 feet, nice jump shot. And the Timberwolves lead by 11. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Pulls up. Beal shot is good. 23 points in the game. And this is Beal's role, a top-tier scorer in today's game who looks to capitalize whenever he can. Towns passes to Edwards. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Three-point field goal. Towns has got three assists tonight. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Pass to Allen. Nurkic with the ball, defended by Gobert. And count it. Now five for seven. It's going to take more effort than that to stop Nurkic from scoring. He's a tough-minded big who plays with physicality. Conley passes to Gobert. Kicks it out, Towns. 4-3. The Timberwolves hit again from deep. Three point. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Pass to Beal. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. First one at the line is good. And Beal drops them both. 
The Timberwolves have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Outside Conley. Pass to McDaniels. Three-pointer, no good. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Nice balance from Gobert. Not allowing the defense to overwhelm him. Ruby Gobert at the line for one. Misses for Gobert. You know, he gets there so often. Gobert would like to make these at a higher clip. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Tremendous individual play, challenging the heart of that defense. Second team foul. At the line for your sons, Kevin Durant. Free throws good from Durant. Minnesota's gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Conley. Again, the Timberwolves score. He's certainly been their go to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Phoenix. Phoenix calls timeout. Good timeout call right there. Looked like the guys were gassed. Heavy legs out there for sure. Here they are. One of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He thinks it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Yeah, this is something he will remember forever. These types of performances in the playoffs are what define a player's legacy. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, Coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. Coach told them to adjust on defense, saying, they're calling it tight right now. We can keep the same effort, but less reaching in and all that. Don't let them beat us at the line. Send it back to you, Brian. And Allie, thanks. We know Bill can do this all night long. I mean, he's got an exceptional talent for finding points. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Durant. And there's Towns on the assist by Conley. Mike Conley's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him tonight. Here's Beal. And another basket for Phoenix. A high-powered offensive talent. It's like these contested shots simply don't bother Beal as much as other players. Booker against Conley. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. The mid-range jumper is a handy tool for Beal. A lot of his shots come from that area. He's got a ton of confidence in it. Here's Edwards. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Edwards has got 14 points here in the second half. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. <laughs> and bam! 
I mean, coaches love Beal late in the game. He's got long range, great off the bounce, a true star in the league. At the line for Phoenix, Bradley Beal. Beal, no good on that one. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. 17 points was their biggest margin. Edwards, counted good. And the Timberwolves lead by eight. Not afraid to mix it up down low. Edwards is a big guard. Really put together nicely. He's got a great body. The shot's good. Beal's got 37. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. And they double up Edwards. And wrestling jump for it there, but no one has possession. Ball. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Suns now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for the Timberwolves. We can go there. Take a break. Two shots. Break. Two shots. The first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. Here's Booker. And it's good. And now they trail by just four. A high volume score, but just too many moves to count. Booker is so dependable under pressure. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. They trail by six. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. It's Phoenix now. Six-point game. Here's Beal. Yeah! And now they trail by just four. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Third personal foul. Shooting from Minnesota. Anthony Edwards. At the line for two. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Huge moment. He steps up and sinks the final daggers. Oh, gets the freedom right ball. Having his way with the defense, Cooper creates separation and nails the shot. And Minnesota calls time here. Minnesota. They're leading by three. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter.
seconds left in the fourth. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. The line to the table. Mike Carlo. Shoot two. First one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Well, Conley could put this team in a good position here. He's just got to relax and trust his mechanics. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Here's Booker. For three, Durant. It's off. So we see the Timberwolves get the win That's here. The the and with this win... They'll jump out to a 3-1 lead in the series. A commanding start. And they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal. The job isn't done yet, but it's close to being all she wrote. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with Carl Anthony Towns. And Carl, it was a bit of a shootout out there, but you got it done. How special to you was this win? I mean, it was big for a team that shoots threes like they do. It's about continuing to just keep playing hard and uh, find ways to win, and we found a way to win tonight. It's all about finding a way. Thanks, Kat. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.